Okay, guys, I just wanted to record you something, hopefully really quick, on, you know, compromising with Loki. Um, if you enter any kind of long-term relationship, I don't care what you see it as, sometimes you have to compromise with your gods. And I've talked about sacrifice, and usually, usually, usually he does not ask for anything. I'll offer, and maybe he'll give me a nudge that he likes something. And... I've been feeling this nudge to look for a bigger fox. So, you know, because he loves his foxes. At least with me. Maybe with you he's like, ugh, he doesn't like them. And I took him on Amazon and eBay and everything, and we were looking at these bigger foxes, and there were all these crazy prices. And then we were on um, Amazon, and we found this one giant fox for less than they usually go for and we looked at each other and he knew I had had two games in mind and the cost of the fox was exactly what I would have paid for the games it was like down to the penny what I would have paid for the games so he just he kind of looked at me really hopefully because it was up to me I could get whatever I wanted but he looked at me really hopefully and I'm like, you can, you can have the fox. You've been, you've been more than good and more than kind and reasonable. So we adopted a fox. He's 36 inches. I wasn't sure, but then I saw what the prices were everywhere else. And I, I love a good buy. I love a good buy. Oh Lord, I love a good buy. Even if it's a lot of money, if it costs even more somewhere else, I'm like, oh yeah, sign me up. So we adopted a 36 inch fox. Um. He looks, at least in the photos, I got to see he looks hyper-realistic. Not, like, exactly spot-on, but if you look quick enough, you'd be like, Oh my god, there's a fox in the house. Um, He's about the size of an actual fox. He's not super hyper-detailed, hyper but, you know, it's enough detail, especially in the fur and in the eyes. It's like you think you're looking at a real fox. So, that will be coming in. He's probably going to come in... I think around March 3rd, and he has weighted paws so that he hugs you when you hold him. Like, you hold him in the paws, like, hug you. And, yeah, he was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, and that's kind of an example. It might seem silly, but it's kind of an example of, um, making compromise with your gods because he has been I feel sorry for him I've never seen him get like this before he's been highly agitated and now it makes sense why but he's been highly agitated waiting for his foxes to come in they had transferred from UPS over to the post office and they were promised today didn't show up today and he's like when are they coming when are they coming and like he had me go out at two in the morning and check to make sure and I'm talking as of Saturday, so, like, you know, Saturday night, 2 in the morning, I'm going out and checking for them, so, like, early Sunday, actually. I said, I'm sorry, baby, we'll get here either Monday or Tuesday, we'll probably get here Tuesday, but I want them now, I know, sweetheart, I know you want them now, I want them now, but they'll come, they'll come. So those are coming, and we adopted a fox, because we had always been talking about seriously getting a bigger fox, because we both want to adopt a fox, but we know, one, I don't have the money, and two, even if I did, that's, you know, that's a dedicated de decade or so of your life, long after the charm of having a one fox wrecking machine in your home has worn off, because I live in Pennsylvania, it's illegal to put animals, thank the gods, it's illegal to put animals outside all the time. Uh, maybe if you had a lot of money and you had a heated barn, you could, like, fix up the barn and, like, let the fox just run right in there. But then he wouldn't be socialized. You kind of need to socialize them, which means you keep them with you as pups. And sometimes when they grow up and they get mature, they get really mean and bitey. They're not all, you know, YouTube-worthy stars. Some get to be mean and then they get thrown out. So we decided for about the price of an adoption, we, w we would get a fox, and we would get a fox that we'll have forever, and we will never have to make a sad goodbye video with him. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. You get really attached to these foxes, and they age a lot quicker than some canine species. I mean, you can have a good decade or so, but often it's like only six or seven years or something. Um, they average two to four years, sometimes even less in the wild. So, you know, it's like you have to have a very strong heart if you fall in love with a fox. But, yeah, we will have the foxy come in. And I, I didn't mind. I think he protected me from getting the one game, as silly as it sounds, because you can't get infinite refunds in a game. Apparently, it's just trash. I mean, people are just trashing this game and calling it garbage, and they haven't dropped the price or refunded or anything. I mean, uh, um, Steam will refund you. Steam's got your back. But the game developers themselves were like, we make good game. Good good dinosaur game, and all the players are like, ah, it's garbage! So, yeah, I'm really glad he protected me from that, and the other one was going to be par paranormal activity, and people were like, this is garbage and trash! So instead of refunding, they put in a play it on your desktop option, and I'm like, holy crap, then it should cost like ten bucks, seriously? <laughs> it's still up for like around forty, so he, he protected me, so for less than eighty bucks, we got a fox adoption. And he is so happy. He is so happy. This is like his son or daughter already. We will decide when the fox comes in or any gender he likes, we like. And he's just, he's very serene right now. He he loves family. He does love family. Um, He can't, he can't get enough of family. So our skulk will be getting bigger. We have foxes in this room, foxes in the living room, foxes in the bedroom. Foxes everywhere. Except for outside, because foxes are precious and you have to protect them from getting nicked by people. I mean, people here will usually leave my outdoor stuff alone, but they'll steal weird crap like um, the capstones in my driveway. They'll steal that crap. Anything else they have usually left alone, but like the top of my solar light, they stole that. It's like... What do you even need this crap for? If you would have asked, I wouldn't have been mad. But if you just stole it, yeah, I'm mad. So, thankfully, we are going to have our foxes. And um, he is trying to get me up that tower. He's still trying to get me up that tower. His idea now is to have me climb until I get scared and then purposely let go and fall and see nothing's going to happen to me. Um, I've made it back up to about the chain, and I was like, nope, and he was like, okay, go ahead, fall. And I fell, and nothing happened to me, but I don't think we'll ever climb that tower, but we're getting closer and closer to having all 12 stars, so he's, like, trying to, like, toughen me up and get me up the tower. I really don't want to. I'm hoping <laughs> that the developers put an elevator in. I'll be like, I'm good. Um, we can't all do everything, but, you know, God's blessing me trying. So, yeah, we're looking forward to the fox adoption, and, well, we already did the adoption. We're looking forward to having the fox arrive. The earliest it's supposed to arrive is, like, the 30th, or, like, the 2nd, maybe the 4th. Um, Amazon is getting really bad at shipping my stuff. I mean, they are straight up getting terrible at shipping my stuff. Sometimes it takes them, like, a week or so to ship. So, maybe he'll be an April fox, you know, like, late April early May Fox. I don't know. They're getting really, really bad about shipping. Um, because I, I wouldn't pay them like 20 extra bucks to ship it really fast. I'm like, I've paid more in the past to have them ship and it makes no difference in the shipping time. They are really bad. So, I hope you guys like what you've seen. I just want to talk to you about that. I know that sounds silly, but you know he really wanted this because we've both both wanted to have a fox companion, but we know realistically, even like if I won the lottery tomorrow, I don't have the temperament and the health to be dealing with, you know, getting up every couple hours, feeding the little fox pup as cute as it is, and then, you know, um, putting up very graciously when it eats the oculus and everything else, because you can't just throw them outside. And, yeah, it would eat everything in this house, and they urinate, and they defecate to mark stuff. So, yeah, they're they're stinky, poopy little creatures, and they will do that. And that's not the fox being bad. That's a fox marking food and marking territory and actually trying to help you out because you're part of the skull. So he will happily open up all your cupboards and pee and poop on everything because he's marking the food 
And aren't you happy he marked the food? He don't care there's fox pee on it. It tastes wonderful to him. Um, he's, he's marking the food source. So, yeah, that's another reason we're not getting a fox. Because it's like, I would wake up to, like, no house. All these plushies you see, they would be gone. The fox would just devour them all. He would eat everything in his path. They will chew through wiring. They will literally dig holes in your walls. Um, yeah, foxes have done thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of damage, so you have to be super dedicated human being to have them, or crate them a lot, and if you crate them a lot, it's like, some people are like, it's okay, they're fine with it, some people are like, they'll go crazy. Um, I'm obviously not a fox owner, so I can't say, but I'm like, yeah, I couldn't not see cooping a, ho a fox up in this house for like six, seven months when the weather's bad and only taking them out a little bit. And if you took them out on the lead, I live right by the road, it would be a disaster. I'm like, there's no way we could possibly have a fox here. So we adopted one. We adopted a very realistic fox that we love to death and that will be our fox. And that was our compromise. And it was, you know, it's something we're both going to get enjoyment from. And he says, I'm sorry, after we adopted him. And I'm like... Loki, I will enjoy this fox a lot more than I will enjoy that game or the games because I said I don't care how good a game's ever been that I've bought and how much enjoyment I've ever heard had from it and how much you guys have had to hear about it. I move on to the next one and the next one and the next one. That's what it's like to play video games. You play it and it's great and you love it and then you're like, ugh, I'm so bored. So you're moving on to the next thing. I'm going through the catalog at Oculus, downloading all the free stuff, even the stuff other people say is crap because I'm currently bored. I have like 120 titles, but I'm bored because I have nothing to play. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this. Um... We will, if anybody's interested, we'll let you see the Fixie Foxy when he comes in. Um, I don't think Amazon's going to care if I put his still up, you know, like his little seller's picture, because I bought him from Amazon. I can even give you a link over to make them happy. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.